I decided I'm going to bring you along tonight to make supper. I've had a real hectic day. I've been canning all day and my family's hungry for supper and I'm going to show you a quick dish that you can put together in a cast iron pan as I have here and let's go ahead and get started. What you're going to be needing is one pound of ground beef, two cups of water, you're going to be needing uh, I believe it's three cups of the egg noodles and then you're going to be needing one can of cream of mushroom soup and then you're going to be needing mm, about half a pound to three-fourths of a pound of the Velveeta cheese. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to brown our ground chuck in a cast iron pan and if there's any fat I want you to please drain the fat off and after we brown the ground chuck we'll be back okay let's go ahead and add our ground chuck to the frying pan okay I fried up the ground chuck and now I want to add at least a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt and then one fourth teaspoon to a half a teaspoon <coughs> of cracked black pepper okay and then your two cups of water And then to this we're going to add our three cups of noodles and folks that's about a half of a bag of the noodles back here. So give that all a good stir. and then put that back onto the fire and cook this for at least eight minutes or until the noodles are done. We'll see you back then. And there the noodles are cooking. Okay, I just pulled the noodles off and it was eight minutes later and they are all cooked so I suggest putting the cover on it does help it doesn't allow all of the water to evaporate into the air so yeah put the cover on and then we're going to add the one can of cream of mushroom soup And then we're going to add, and I did weigh this out, and this was three-fourths of a pound of the Velveeta cheese that I cubed up. So let's go ahead and add that. Or a cheesy beef stroganoff. Let me wash my hands quick. Oh. 
okay and you're gonna want to stir all this to incorporate it all and until the cheese is all melted as soon as the cheese is melted you can sit there and eat so let me go ahead and stir this all in and let the cheese melt and I'll show you the finished results